Today is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017. Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. And this is our recap of Survivor 35, Episode 2. This episode is titled, I'm a Wild Banshee. Who said that? Patrick. Ah. You got it about three quarters of the way through. That's his master plan to be (laughs) the uh, the one injecting fun and wacky craziness into his tribe so that he doesn't become a target. He has no idea, does he? No, he's got no clue what he's doing. Big old target on his back. Right. Especially with Lauren. Previously on Survivor, Joe interrogated Mike. I don't think that's going to end well for him. Patrick is with Allie, and Ryan told Devin about the super immunity idol. The mob squad is on the outs at the Heroes Tribe, but Chrissy had the super immunity idol. And then the Alliance of Four stuck together, and Chrissy kept the, the super idol and didn't use it. So she gets to use it potentially for a big bluff. Okay, we're back at the Heroes Camp. It's still night three. Chrissy's ready to go to the watering hole. I think she wants to have a chat. (laughs) She's ready to do some damage control right then. And Alan's like, let's never go to tribal again. That's ideal, Alan. But But Chrissy was positive on it. She said, hey, that that was actually great for me. It, It highlighted and really showed the light on a lot of cracks in this alliance so i think that's going to help yeah she tells us she was on the bottom and everybody was so angry and all that was going around and all the chaos that alan was creating it took the pressure off her Mm -hmm. gave her some cover yep now she gets to think about using her her uh, super immunity idol as a decoy well then alan tells us well he got what he wanted it was really intense but you know at least people see jp and ashley as power couple now and i thought how is that serving you dude yeah well he's a big target potentially so if he could like you know his plan i get his plan it's just it's way too try hard it's way too much yeah that point over the top as far as i'm concerned seemed that way he thinks he's spot on it's all going Mm -hmm. according to his his game plan maybe he will be but who could trust him that's right (laughs) Ben tells us he can't. This tribe is fractured. That final four is gone. Every man for himself. Yeah, Ashley, Ben, and Chrissy end up talking there in the night, right? Mm. Yeah, Alan went against us. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Ashley says that Alan's off his hinges. Mm -hmm. Now he's got the target on his back. So, as far as they're concerned, it didn't go quite as well as Alan thought it did. That was my feeling, too. What would you think of Ben's analogy and his confessional the next day? This tribe's like old paint. Oh. (laughs) Cracks and flaking, and I thought that was pretty good. I liked it. I liked a little little bit of cowboy wisdom there. I couldn't get past you trying to mock him (laughs) and doing it so badly. I wasn't mocking him. I was trying to do... you were imitating him. He sometimes, as far as I'm concerned, he sometimes speaks like he's got a frog in his throat. Okay, you so were I was, imitating. I was trying for that. You said I did not succeed. Uh, no. Nah. This from the woman who picks up anything irritating being said and repeats it over and but over But I do it and well. Over. No, you don't. You yes, don't always I do. do it well. I do it well. It annoys you. You, you might be, it might be well and I annoying. I mimic it I'll give well. You that. I mimic it well. <laughs> That's what gets you. Yeah, okay. Like, you mm-hmm, win. Mm-hmm. You're annoying. You do you everything. succeeded. You do everything that when it's annoying, <laughs> okay. you mimic them. Uh, and I do, because it's cute. Hustlers it. over mm. on day four now. Mm. They're all working, except for... Simone. Simone doesn't appear to be working. The editors are telling us that she's just chilling there in the uh, shelter. And I was like, I decided to choose what i thought was a little bit risky this week and um are you trying to say you played bold no i didn't play bold obviously i played stupidly because (laughs) i chose i chose her as safe Uh uh-huh 
pin so however in my defense after we talked this afternoon i went in to change it about four o'clock and got sidetracked by something that yeah, this that is happened. your story you stick to that okay yeah, well you know it did and so by the time i got that finished it was exactly four thirty, and i went oh oh well darn if only you could have made your picks earlier in the week no 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 i made my picks i made my picks yesterday <laughs> but what i was going to do was take what was your Simone. trigger my my thought was stacy's right if if that tribe loses she was my first pick to go so usually i stay away from that the the one that i chose like i chose uh katrina and simone and rourke Mm-hmm. And so usually I stay away from that, but this time I guess I just st- forgot about that. So uh-huh. okay. I was just going to change her as being safe. I, d- I didn't even hadn't thought out mm-hmm. who else I would put. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change anything Let's get back else. on track over at the Hustlers I was tribe. keeping Joe to go because that's what I wanted. <laughs> Ryan tells us that they have some momentum, and Devin and Ryan, they're, they've got a good alliance, and they're able to smile, but they hide those smiles from their other tribe members. Ryan tells us that they are in lockstep. No one has a connection. Well, to Simone. Yeah, to Simone. Yeah. <laughs> Which looked good to me. At and he this called point. her weird. Yep, he said she was weird. Hmm. Well, well, I would call her whiny for sure. Mm hmm. Because I thought, but it's hot all the time and there's no AC. <laughs> in the outdoors. <laughs> Where did you think you were going? Yeah. That was funny. And, uh, don't care for the whining thing. To her credit, she was pushing her boundaries. She was successful. She was able to get her aqua dump done, even though she wore her knee-high boots out I into the water. I said we were not discussing that. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to give her something. I'm going to smack you in the face. She said it made her feel like a superhero. She did gut the fish, though. Mm-hmm. I thought that was good. So she was trying a little bit there. Yeah, and she even volunteered to do that. So good on her. And she reached out. I love my girl Allie here. It's Allie yeah. and Ryan are emerging as narrators for this season. And hey, we what chose I, well. As we see, this, this episode is, is all about building some story arcs because you're going to see people come into Allie. She's got connections to everyone on her tribe. And even Simone reaches out to her. And she says, yeah, I'm reaching out to Simone, too. I'm going to pull her onto my side, and I think I can mold her. And she's even given her basic life advice. Like, you should hype yourself a little more. Don't don't talk yourself down around everyone, because that's what they'll latch on to. So, good on you, Allie. Yeah, I think she did that well, that she's trying to draw people in. Mm-hmm. You should try to draw everyone in. Yeah, definitely. Well, you should try it looks like it was turned out to be something that was really difficult for simone and um uh, and certainly someone else a couple of others on that tribe okay could jump over to the healers on day four jessica's fishing yep she got the hawaiian sling out but she's just not having any luck cole sees it as an opportun- opportunity to flirt a little more yep after he finishes sunning on the raft mm-hmm <laughs> Of course, he had to wait for her. His plan know. is to feed, just to keep getting fish for her. Maybe she'll, uh, she'll lean more his in his direction. Yes, she's so cute. Mm-hmm. She's such a cool girl. Yes, and she's an older woman. She wasn't Miss Virginia. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, wasn't it? She was. She was no Miss Virginia though. <laughs> Desi's telling the uh, the folks back at camp about how she was Miss Virginia a couple times, and where she finished in the Miss America pageant. And Joe, he's still going after Mike, and he pipes right up and tells Mike, hey, you're ugly, but you're smart. So, nice little backhanded compliment from Joe there to Mike. You can I tell Mike teasing. Joe said, well, Joe said Mike's still a target for him. And the only problem with Joe yes, but to tell pushing him that, that Mike has uh, been out hunting for the idol, and he thinks mike has it is it's backfired on him a bit and he only has limited opportunities as he describes them small windows where he can do his own search so we don't get a don't a, you think that was a the part of the goal though is to um to get mike not to look is to put that big target on him telling everybody oh he's got it and he's mm-hmm. running out there doing this and that so that joe himself would have more of an opportunity yeah, but Joe makes it clear that it didn't work that way. It actually has restricted his ability. But it turns out even small windows are enough where you, 
we get treated to a Tony slash Wu run through the jungle searching for an idol sequence and Joe's rewarded when he finds one of the new clues painted onto a tree. But he thinks it looks like a raft. That's what I thought initially too. So Yeah, I did too. And he he realizes he needs help, so he reaches out he decides he's gonna reach out to Cole. But he reaches out by telling him, hey, I think you got it since you've been on the raft. And the clue says it's near the raft. You must have it because you've been in the water. Cole's like, you know what? Maybe you show me the clue. And I was, I'm thinking, yay, Cole, you're doing great. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it this way because Cole makes a huge, huge blunder coming up. So Cole goes over and looks at the clue. And then he realizes... Hey, that's the symbol that Why I saw on the map. Why him? That's it. That's his huge blunder. Without thinking, he just blurts out, Don't Oh, tell him. no, Joe, that's not the raft. That's the well. He should have said, You're right. <laughs> We're going to have to look for it in the water. Cole thinks, Hey, he, he's going to see me as a resource. This is wonderful. And it's just mm. in my nature to help like this. <laughs> that's what he tells us in a mm. quick confessional. Mm. Grown. So, yeah, they go over to the well and bingo. And Joe, to his credit, makes good on his word. He's on ready. He snags it up. I'm getting it. Yep. And, and he tells he us. He fought him for it, too, I think. And, and, no, he just reached down and snatched it up. No, he was digging in the hole. But yeah. And now he tells us, yeah, Cole's got too much knowledge. I'm going to have to get rid of him. <laughs> and good on Cole. He went back to the tree and got he rid of the, the, the clue. The yeah. clue. Yep. That was smart. That part's smart. So yeah. he's like, smart, not smart, smart. Mm hmm. So we'll see. There, yeah. there may be some ways for I Cole like to make him, up for but it. But I don't. I'm not. Well, I don't he needs help. Have much hope for him. He needs help in the game of Survivor. He, like Devin, he needs a Ryan. So maybe that's Jessica. You know, it could certainly be Mike uh, or Desi. But Cole needs someone to help him navigate the game if he's got any hope of being in there for a while. Beyond what he offers in terms of physical ability to his tribe. Okay, back to the Heroes Tribe. We're on day five now, so we get a three-day cycle with four, five, and six in this episode. JP's out. He's spearfishing, gets a little lobster. lobster. Yeah. Tells us uh, that he is not about the drama. Do you notice he hand-fed Chrissy a bite of the lobster there? Yes, I did. Yep, and he he, uh, actually had to get her own. (laughs) And he tells us that he's going to, he and Ashley are on the back burner. So they're downplaying everything to try to get that target off their backs. Well, and he tells us he's not really talking to a lot of people. So he did make an effort to talk to Chrissy. Yeah, and then, wow, did he blunder that. Or at least that's the way the edit made it seem. He, without probably being aware of it, I think he insulted her a little bit. That might have stung just a little for her. Mm. She's trying to downplay it and... As she she's working to figure well, out who she should move forward would ever with. See us as right, a power JP couple. said, "Yeah, well, no one will ever think of us as a power couple." And she sort of nervous laughed it off or awkward laughed it she off. She handled it well. Yeah, but I doubt he noticed it. But it looked like it's was like, like he's not, not very smart. Yeah, he's not too bright. That's what it <laughs> Which told, if you insult I don't a woman want to like align that with him, he's not very smart. <laughs> yeah. So mm. she's like. I am such a prize in this game. Yeah. I think I will be better off with Ben. Yeah. It's a better match for me. And that's true. I, I believe that is yep. very true. And he is charming. I like Ben. But he doesn't trust Ashley yet either. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled her over. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't trust her either. I, I like what Chrissy said about how they complement each other in terms of what they offer to the game. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a good alliance. I think it it could serve both of them quite well. So you got some, you got Ryan and Devin. That's going to work out. I think the Ben and Chrissy thing is is going to be important. Mm-hmm. The only caveat is that these all have expiration timers on them. I think. I well, think yeah, we they're going to switch up the drugs. And it could yeah. happen. It could even happen in the next episode, right? It could. I, I think they'll go where four they could go weeks. to eight and eight. Mm, I don't think they'll do it that quick. No. Week okay. four or five, maybe. Yeah. You think they'll do a, a swap and do three fives? I don't know. Yeah. We'll talk some more about it at the end. But I think that's coming. You even heard Ryan mention it at one point in the episode. If they... Said we we got to survive the swap when he was talking to If they to did Devin. a swap, mm-hmm. then they might do it uh, like week four. And then it would only be a couple of weeks. They'd probably do... 
the merge. Two tribes. No, yeah. not the merge. Oh. Go to two tribes. Right, go down to two, sure. If they just swapped in three tribes, mm -hmm. and then they'd have to go to two tribes for a while, and then the merge. Sure. Yeah, you got options, 16, 15, 14. You can make and, that work. And who's out of the loop now in the Heroes tribe? Alan. Yeah, well, I think they had him clearly out of the loop after they got mm -hmm. back. But yeah. So yeah, that looks like a good alliance. I was excited for that. Um, yeah, I think I had it does Chrissy too. and and Ryan and Allie all making uh, final four. I think my fourth one was Cole. I think I so. had Chrissy in my final six. I, but uh, I we see think them I shaping up as the significant players. These story arcs are now. You got the second block in the arc this week, and some of these blocks are much more ornate than others. Well, I was just glad to see that Chrissy kind of turned it around because I think she'll be a good player, and I'd like to see a lot more of her. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was really worried last week. Yeah. But thanks to Alan, it's looking better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, to the Hustlers on day five. Patrick gets a crab. Devin's doing some yoga, and, yeah, they're chasing a crab, but he's yelling and screaming in Lauren's face, and she's all, why do you have to do that? do that why are you acting out so much and this is when we get the title of the episode i'm a wild banshee from patrick well i like it that lauren picked up the crab and chased him with it yeah <laughs> he was scared of it yeah according to him he is uh, scared of crabs so you know to her she's like Wah. so yeah this it is, is nothing this the is lobsters nothing. i get will take Just your pick the thing hand up, off you know yeah. She yep. picked it up in the right spot. There was no chance she was going to get bit. So I don't, I don't know how you read it when they were there in the shelter and Patrick was asking her questions about, like, how are you at dancing? But I, I saw him I'd... being a troll. I saw him griefing her because yeah. he's smiling. Yeah, her, I I, She's so laying too. down. Her eyes are closed. And he's basically smiling. And I think there's a mean edge to what he's doing there. That was yeah, how I, I read it. Was, I thought he was. Yeah. Uh, I thought he was deliberately trying to annoy her. Yeah, he's griefing for sure. So I, that's at least what I got visually and verbally. That and that's what it looked like. Well, to me. I like it that so far she seems to have held her cool. And you know, at her age and having children of her own, she wants to treat him like the child he's acting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I liked what that's she had tough. said too about how he had trouble sitting still and being quiet. Yep. You want to be the teacher and say, you sit there and don't you move. And you can't do that. And who does she reach out to? Allie. Allie, that's right. That's who you go to on the Hustlers Tribe. You go to Allie. And Allie goes to Ryan. Mm, I don't know if that, that might have been Ryan going to Allie. We're not clear on that one. Mm, I am. Mm, I think it was the other way around. I don't think You so. need to rewatch. Allie tells us that Patrick... Uh, being aligned with Patrick is basically balancing out like being a babysitter. And she realizes she needs to be ready to vote him out if it's necessary. So good on you, Allie. Yep, absolutely. She ain't fooling around. She's there for business. She isn't there to be a wild banshee. No, and she seems to, like I said, really be getting in. We have not seen her talk directly to Devin. But, um, you know, it. I don't know if it's obvious yet that Ryan's the go-to instead of Devin. But... Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that yeah. and see if we can catch, catch some of that. Yeah, Devin and her having conversations. All right, day six, time for our community challenge right. and reward. And reward. All right, so this is the second episode. This is time for a big fishing reward. So the first tribe to finish gets uh, super-duper fishing gear with fish baskets. Traps and yeah. nets and All sorts lines. of goodies. And then the second to finish gets lines and lures stuff that'll that should really help let them be able to do some fishing without act, do some passive fishing which would be nice mm -hmm. yeah and joe and lauren are chosen to sit out yep so they have to swim out from three of them will have to swim out from the platform then they'll have to dive dive down untie the puzzle pieces and then push them through a eh, fairly long tube did he say mm -hmm. how long that was it's like mm -hmm. 20 feet maybe I don't think it was that long. 15, 20 feet, something like that. Under So they have to dive down underwater and, and push the pieces that have a float on them. Uh, yeah, push I them through about the cage. 15 feet, maybe. Yeah. Um, for the Hustlers Tribe, that was Ryan, Devin, and Patrick. For the Healers, it was Cole, Jessica, and Rourke. 
And for the heroes, it was J.P., Ashley, and Ben. Yeah, so they've, they've got to swim, do the swimming part. And Devin was a beast. Yeah, he did exceptionally well. He gave did. them a gave the hustlers a big head start on and the JP puzzle. JP did well. Yeah, he did. He carried it seemed to be carrying a lot of the weight. And we saw Rourke and Cole trading off. I'm not sure that Jess was very effective, but they got through it eventually. Um, so yeah, Devin seemed to be able to each time the way the edit looked, he was going down and doing it all on one breath. Untying and maneuvering it through, through the cage back up. there. Yeah. yeah, back up. Very impressive. So they had a, a lead, and then the heroes and the healers fall far behind at this point. Well, you would think Ashley could have done that, you know, with her training mm-hmm. as a lifeguard and, and rescue. But uh, she didn't seem to have the breath got it for untied, it. But yeah, maybe got it hers started. were hard to get untied. Yeah, she got it untied and loose, but she couldn't get it all the way at the end before coming back for a breath. She didn't have the surfer's lungs mm-hmm. that Devin has. In case he gets rolled by a wave or something like that. And it takes him a while to get his composure to come back up. Okay, so the Hustlers are in an early lead. Uh, but it doesn't take too long for the Healers to get there. And eventually they're all, they all kind of be, seem to be neck and neck working on the puzzle. Yep, Allie and Simone are doing that. Mike and Desi for the Healers. And Alan and Chrissy, Chrissy and for, Alan. for the Heroes. Yep. She was directing, though, you could tell. She was like, I need you to push this over here. Well, she was good to ask for help when she needed it, when she couldn't get the pieces there. But it looked like she was getting most of them placed. Yep. And uh, the Hustlers ended up blowing their lead. So it came down to there was some pretty good drama on who was going to finish. Well, and how did the healers shine? Yeah, they came in last. They got to the dock last with the puzzle pieces, but they finished the puzzle first. And it was a cool puzzle, and it was actually designed by a super fan. So that was really cool. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the only reason you could see who was doing the puzzle in the photos. But... um, I thought, wow, Mike and Desi are both intelligent. Mm-hmm. But I just really wanted Joe to go home. So <laughs> that's why I you decided. picked Joe. You just got it. You kind of I gave want, up on your strategic just mindset. Wanted and went, Joe to go. Uh, because I wanted I want Joe him to go. or Alan to go home, so okay. I chose Joe. Well, I'd I say, thought, you know what? Viva you. Embrace that kind of idea strategically. That's how I get And you just sometimes. keep going for that every week. I thought, but what's going to be most fun for me if Joe goes home? Mm-hmm. Or and I thought or Alan, but I have to choose one. So I thought that all in all, it's a better choice for you than fretting over things. Yeah, that's what I decided. Okay, so the heroes end up coming in second, and the hustlers are going to tribal council. Boom! Yay! Because I had Simone going. Had Simone going. Yeah, and Devis tells us Devin tells us that Simone doesn't fit in their tribe, and she needs to go. So we're thinking it's either Patrick or Simone at this point. That was... Who did you have safe? Who did I have safe? Yeah, because we're thinking it's either Patrick Simone, or Simone. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, these people aren't going to last long. So I'm going with Joe's yeah, going home. Bold. And I'm going to I'm going to get I'm I think you played get a both. point off you played, these two people. You know what? It's just total points mm. for you. You played emotionally bold. So good on you for that. Oh. Uh, oops. <laughs> I almost said something. <laughs> Watch it, uh, Joanne. Simone, when they get back to camp, she tells us tells them that she is really sorry. And then in her confessional, she says she knows she's an easy vote, but she needs to shape the narrative towards Patrick. Yeah, so you're in your head okay. too much. Okay. At least she Be- realized it. Before you go any further, mm-hmm. you did not comment on the snake on snake picture. Yeah. You didn't, I don't think it made I've ever you seen it. It made well snakes. Period. Make me uncomfortable. But the intertwining. But to have two, it's that's, like that's not uncommon. Well, that's of, not rare. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You see yes, snakes do I that have, all the time. I have never seen it. You've never seen it. No, okay. I haven't. In your time here on the planet, it's been a long time on the planet, Mister <laughs> Kiddo. And you haven't seen it, okay? No, I haven't. Sure. I mean, if they were all like in a barrel or on a in a uh, snake round it mm-hmm. all those rattlers mm-hmm. at the at the at fair the fire. Or, well or at the farmer's market 
once once a year. Right. That adds rattlesnake roundup. Yep. Gotcha. And uh, now there, yes, they were all entwined, but I don't ever remember them showing that type of thing. I was, uh, I actually watched it instead of looking away. Yeah. But anyway, okay, Good on maybe you. that's just me. Yep. All right, what else you got? Well, Simone's got to shape that narrative towards Patrick. So Simone and Lauren and Allie go to the well, and uh, that's when Simone sort of awkwardly pitches Patrick out. She's playing off the the division between lauren and patrick by putting it out there but i just thought it was really well yeah she knows lauren will go for that yeah she wasn't really smooth she thought she was it seemed like she thought she was being smooth but she wasn't smooth yeah. that's i guess that's what i'm trying to say and she's pretty sure they can get ryan or Devin on board to vote out patrick and meanwhile, Patrick and the boys are thinking, oh, yeah, Simone's got to go. It's not going to be one of us. We'll Patrick just pull. Patrick did not think he was at all in jeopardy. Nope. He was running this thing. You're right. Because he got Allie in, in his shots. back pocket yep. and the other guys. Mm-hmm. He's sitting pretty. Simone to go. I think that was a rude waking in travel that his name came up at all. You really think he's he, like he's gonna hold no. that? Like he's gonna retain I think that awareness? He's gonna wonder why she wrote his name. What did they say to her? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, you're giving him way more credit than I do. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Allie's in a cool spot because everybody's including her in the conversation. She tells That's us, "Right, this is this feels pretty good. I got options." She can't lose. And she didn't get overconfident or anything like that. No, so, no, really but she did weigh her options. I really like uh-huh. that she weighed her options and thinking about, yeah, but, you know, Patrick trusts me the most. And, but, you know, Simone could be loyal. And so she really worked through all that. I'm not sure how she made her decision, but I like that she thought it through thoroughly. Yeah, it was a good strategic discussion with Ryan, it looked like, too. At least it just came, that was the vibe from watching for me. I liked what Ryan had to say, that he's like a baby. You just have to watch him all the time. (laughs) (laughs) But he's still, I thought that would be a bad choice because he's still stronger than Simone in the challenges. Right. Simone didn't seem to offer much of anything. She was just along for the ride. Around camp or in the challenges. Yes, is Patrick annoying? I'm sure that he is. But he's still got a lot of energy. Put it to use. Use. Make the boy go get the firewood and put that energy to good use. Yep. And he's good in the challenge. In the discussion with Allie and Ryan, they say, really, the only thing that matters at this point is that we got a lock on three. Because three's the majority mm-hmm. after this vote, and we've yep. got control really like that. Mm-hmm. That Allie and Ryan are both so dialed in. They're a step ahead. Very cool. Like this. This was a great episode for both Allie and Ryan. Yay. Hopefully I got something right. Wasn't this episode, but okay. I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to go down, especially with that confessional before they left from Ryan, where he said that Simone scares him, but he really wants predictable and loyal. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I didn't know which way they were going to go for sure. Okay, Tribal Council, <laughs> what did you think of Ryan's analogy? Um, I think that... The birthday party for the I kid think, you don't like? I think he had thought that through before he that. the game yeah, even he started. Yeah, he totally planned that. Yeah, and it worked. Uh, it he worked. He made probes. He, he confused, approved. yeah, confused probes and then made him chuckle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it worked good. Yeah, and I think that probably thrilled him. Mm-hmm. But, sure. yeah, I think that was, I don't think that was on the spot thoughts. I think he had thought through he planned some it. of that. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. He planned that. So good on but you, Ryan. But it was good. Well done. Yeah, good well job. Done. Lauren said she likens it more to a funeral. And Instead she doesn't really, party. doesn't really want to see probes again. So <laughs> <laughs> that was that good in her, in her own way. I think she did well. Yeah, I yeah. really don't want to see you She again, played probes. off that and. Patrick even played off Ryan's birthday party for the kid you don't like, too. He referenced it again. So I'd like to see so you on day 39. Patrick even was demonstrating some self-awareness, some situational yeah. awareness there. So we can't totally discount him no, and his ability he did to play. No, because kind there kind of get a little nervous, even though he was, oh, yeah, and keep our tribe strong, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, what was said when he kind of went, huh? And he got a little nervous. 
Well, well he didn't. He didn't say that he trusted everyone. Oh, he said he trusted most. Oh of yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he couldn't stop laughing at himself. He's like, "Yeah, I said it." And well, what did he, he just, just say? went full jughead, and you don't ever want to go full jughead at tribal. I know, when you could have easily covered by saying, "Well, Jeff, there's just one person, really." Yeah, I didn't want to. An... I didn't want to single out any one person, but there is one person that I'm voting for that I don't trust, and then you're covered. Yeah, but instead that's of not his oh, thing. Well, and blah blah blah, and blah blah blah. And then Lauren's like, just say what you mean. If that's what you mean, just say it. Right. Either way. <laughs> and uh, But I liked that Patrick came back after that and said, look, I'm one of the most trustworthy people here. I'm very trustworthy. Now, I don't know if anybody bought it, but at least he came back and pushed that because he got a little nervous. Yeah, tells me. And he got a little red. When uh, Probst was, was asking him, he, he did say, he did cop to having a fast heart rate. He realized he had goofed at that yep, point. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, oh, yeah, well, I meant to say. I thought he flubbed it even further when he said, well, I didn't mean for that to come out. He's like, oh, you were thinking it, but you just didn't mean to say it. You're, you're, Have you're no filter. compounding the yeah. problem here. Yeah. Just it's time to just shut it now. Simone seemed to try to be making a case for herself. She didn't, I liked it. She didn't appear to be all together effective in it, but no. But I liked her admitting that I'm terrified 100 percent of the time out here. I'm not. I'm a city girl, yeah, but I'm doing it anyway. You can Send see where that comes from. Bugs. Strategically, it's I'm going to show my vulnerability. I think it'll win them over to my side, and then I can have a story. But sometimes people don't want you to have a story. They, right. they don't want you to have the David Wright redemption story. And that's probably what Ryan was thinking, too, when he just went ahead and said, yeah, let's just go ahead and nip this one in the bud. Let's get rid of her. Well, we saw that it was only one vote for Patrick, which was Simone's, mm -hmm. and everybody else voted Simone. Right. So they voted together. She seemed to be a good sport about it. She wasn't didn't seem bitter. She went in for hugs with Patrick and Allie and... I yep. forget who yep. else was sitting there with her. But yeah. Devin. Devin, that's right. So she hugged hugged them together. Anything else you want to say about that? I think that covers it. Yeah. Next on. War erupts. Lauren Pat. and and Patrick are going at it. Yeah, well that's no big surprise. That's mm, no. that's been waiting to happen. Well, she's I don't been know building. How it lasted yeah. this long right. before they butted heads. But uh I think that might be why he's picking it or he knows he annoys her. Mm-hmm. And she's probably said some little things they haven't shown us. Yeah, that's that he true. Didn't they like, I'm sure she has. I don't think she'd keep it under wraps the whole time. Probably not. They just haven't chosen to show us yet. Right. So, so what I, does that tell you? What does that tell us? What? That they're. That's a a a protective edit of her. Or of them in the whole. <laughs> in, they're saving it for the big one. Mm-hmm. When they really go at each other, and you know, yeah. I so give basically, it away ahead of time. so we got through day six, and we know that the uh, from the interview with Katrina, the heroes had a lot of food, but even six baskets of food is going to start to go bad. It's going to start to oh, run yeah. out, yeah. Yeah. and now hunger is going to start to be a factor if it didn't already. We did see Devin catch a fish. We saw JP catching something. Did. Uh, Oh yeah, and Cole. And the crab. Cole was catching fish too with the Hawaiian sling. That was part of his plan to win Jessica they get over. The slings they must have provided. They all got one Hawaiian to everybody. Slings, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, did we talk about Cole uh, telling Jessica that Joe has the idol? Nope, we hadn't gotten there yet. Yeah. Well, he did. What do you think about that? I think Smart it's a good move not. on Cole's part because, like I said, Cole needs some help. He he needs an ally because he made a huge blunder in just blurting out to Joe, oh, no, that's not the raft, that's the well. Boy. And what he tells us is his good, helpful nature, whereas he, he could have said, yeah, let's, let's see if we can, something like, let's see if we can get a little time this evening to go check around the raft. Well, it tells that's me all he had to that, say. number one, he doesn't censor himself. And number two, that he wasn't in the game right then. No. Should have been in the game when you're looking at this and mm -hmm. thinking, what is my best move? Yep. Not, if he oh, had wow, only he adopted Mike's strategy of wait, which is, why am I talking? 
ask yourself this why I am like i that. Ta- yeah why am I ta- mike mike's got he's got like a handful mike. of rules yeah i, I like do mike like too. mike i'd like yeah. to see him go deep i want to see him at least get the best of joe because <laughs> joe's our villain oh, please get the best of joe joe yeah. and alan but joe he's the only one with a an idol he's got so an idol he's got more power than anyone else in well, the game right you now you saw how i reacted to that yeah so. no Okay. Anything else you want to say about it? I think that's all we what got. What did you think of the episode overall? I enjoyed it totally, even though <laughs> it I wasn't did not good for you well in the fantasy league. Yeah. As far as the game, no, yeah. no, that was. But I don't care. I enjoyed it. So it was a good that's episode. All I care about. I, I think this was. I hey. enjoyed this one more than the first one in terms of how it all played out, and I guess it's probably we've got familiarity that we're building yeah. on too yeah. that makes this one more enjoyable. Hey, look at it this way. I was correct. I and said Simone would be the first one off their tribe. I was right. Sure. It just didn't. I wasn't right when it came to getting points. Kind of like Cole. You just didn't <laughs> act on it. That's right. To at your the benefit. right timing. Yes. So, yeah, that's true. So, do you think, it. let's let's stay on that just for a moment with Cole telling Jessica, how's that going to play out? What do you think? Because I think that's a great question for listener feedback show, too. Is Cole going to be able to put a target on Joe because of that? Is he going to be able to make him a pariah? I truthfully don't see that whole thing with Cole and Jessica working out very well in the long run. Okay, you're missing the point of the question. That's valid. But really, what does it mean for Joe? Because we, I think Cole needs help. He's got Jess. She's yeah. a smart lady. Jess can maybe she's got a connection to Desi or Mike. Him. They could totally get him. They can pop and him. And force his hand. And well, not even let him know. Or blindside him. Completely blindside him. Mm hmm. Completely. Because he's kind of the most out of even though mm-hmm. he's pushing Mike to be the most out of place one and supposedly Mike is the ugly one amongst all the beautiful people here. It really could be Joe that's most out of place in the way he deals with people. He's like the best equipped in some ways to be on Survivor because his his job is all about people don't trust him. He doesn't trust them. The you know his parolees and, and they they're not necessarily going to trust him because he's the man in that role and he 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 should have a lot of skills and a lot of training for managing the social trust maze that is survivor but he's also with his aggressive gameplay and these other folks aren't going to overlook how he's talking about mike Mm -mm. they're going to remember that no because that's me but here's the thing if i were them i would i would tell the other people and go we have to go and jessica but i would wait until it's time for them to you know till they lose a challenge and have to go Mm -hmm. nobody wants to have it's really hard to play once you know them yeah to sit on that knowledge well then they could sit on that knowledge until it was that's hard till they lost or they could share it now so that people could start harboring do you think they would throw a challenge to get rid of him at this point I hope not. I, I don't want to see anybody throw a challenge. I don't just either. Just get rid of somebody. I it always think that's a bad run, idea. It carries too much risk. Yeah. yeah. Unless I felt threatened, and then I might think it was a good idea. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. But I that's what I would make the move at some point. Just go, look, Joe's got an idol. And the only way we're going to get rid of it right now is to blindside him. He knows. He told me he has it. I'm telling you so we can blindside him and get it back out of the game. Cole doesn't have to say told. He can say he has it. <laughs> I saw him get it. Yes. And I can tell him we're voting. So I don't, I'm not sure that it's it's a foregone conclusion that Joe has the most power. I think they could flip the script on him. Yeah, but it's too. it's very challenging to do. And part of it's going to pivot on how he treats his tribe mates. Yeah, who likes him? Does anyone like him? Mm-hmm. We haven't seen enough yet to know if Desi or um, I don't. We know how Mike feels a little, but Rourke, Desi, and Jessica. Right. We've not seen them interact with him that much, and I don't. I don't know that they are, but they could be. So we don't know that yet. Right. Maybe there'll be some clues and some extra them totally videos. I don't know. But you sure. know, yeah, it would offend me. It did offend me to hear him tell Mike, "You're ugly." Mm-hmm. I thought 
I mean, I first he included getting... himself in that, and then he's mm. it, it, it turned. I think it turned well, a little meaner. Have. Yeah. Because when you're mean, <laughs> there's more than one way to be ugly. Isn't that's there? right. Yeah. That's what okay, my mama it, used to say it, anyway. Anything else you want to say? Before Don't act we, ugly. We move on. <laughs> Uh, Any other observations in the episode? I don't think so. I think we covered everything I can think of right now anyway. All your notes. How about a GSFL update? We had five people who lost their USB. Five people um, tied for first with 11 points. Okay. Next. Same same as last week or different folks? I don't know if they were in the top last week or not, babe. Okay. There were a lot of people in the top last week. All right. Like. 60 people or something. Gotcha. So I don't know that. You'd have okay. to ask me that ahead of time. Sorry. Okay, 63 people gained a vote off point. <laughs> Stacy being one of those. Me, 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 84 me, me, me. people lost a safe point. Understandable. Me being but, one of those. Yeah. Challengers with 11 points and in the lead, Jody. All right, Jody. With 10 points, we have Nina, 9, Cold Mike. Jeremiah and Parker, eight points. Brandon, Drew, Kitty Cat, Rick, and Stacy. Like that. And with the, seven. The ascension has begun. Stop talking. Okay. With seven, Iron Dave, James and Shannon, and Jonathan. There we are. Now you may speak. Yeah. I covered my important point. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. Full points for me. Yes, full points for you. You did good. Yeah. I, no, I got lucky. Okay, whatever. I would take it had I gotten lucky, but I didn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'm okay with it because I still think the right person went home. Yeah. So I'm good with it. Yep. So we'll be interviewing Simone tomorrow. And then Saturday, it'll be time for the listener feedback show. That's your opportunity to share your thoughts and analysis on this episode and any predictions you might have for the next episode. Do you have any predictions for the next episode? No. No? Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Not till I we, see something that shows me, are they having another water challenge? Is there? But they should have something physical with another puzzle. They do they that. They really favor that in the early Yeah, yeah, in the early, early part. stages. So, yeah. But the so thing oppor- is, is... opportunity for one tribe to make a comeback, and that's more dramatic. So uh, he they like the formula. You know, it's their turn to lose because everybody else has lost one. But I don't. They well, if you look at Paul's really roster, well. which we can conclude is a predictive analytic at this point, <laughs> the yeah. people on the far right side. So Katrina's gone, Simone's gone. Next up, Rourke. it'll be Rourke. <laughs> yeah. So the healers are. Well, due. that is what I predicted. Did did you go over those same three as first off each tribe? I can't mm. remember who you chose, but that is the three I chose. It's funny they're right. Um, lined yeah, up I don't know that right I was specific about tribe. who would be first on every tribe, but yeah, certainly they were in that <laughs> list. I might have had Lauren before Simone. Well, I've changed my mind about Rourke, though, so I'm not sure that she would, you know, she's been, I think, playing okay, but. She seems to have an under the radar game going right now. Yeah. 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 So we're looking forward to hearing what you thought about this episode and your predictions and how. Y- Maybe your life experience alters a, uh, offers a different perspective on what we saw in week two, episode two of Heroes, Healers, and Hustlers. The voicemail line, the easiest way to get feedback in, and I think Parker's already got his in, 206-350-1547. There's a toll-free version if you need it, 844 643 8737 And then email where you can attach your own recorded version, which is a way for you to control the quality, uh, which is always great. uh, You can send that to the email address at joanneandstacyshow at gmail.com. Or you can write it up and either Joanne or I will read it into the listener feedback show on your behalf. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to say about episode two of season 35. Anything else you want to add? More Survivor. Yeah, you wish it was longer more, again. More, more, more. Yeah. Well, maybe there'll be some extra videos that offer it's some like insights. It's like when we, when we watch something um, and we, we catch up, we just binge watch. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, one more. Okay, one more. Yeah. Okay, well, well just one more. We do that. We're we terrible got, with that. We got and it's on hard BBC <laughs> crime dramas yeah. this summer, and we were doing that, huh? 
Yeah. I know, but it's, I feel that way about Survivor. Oh, totally. I'm ready for the next one. Ready yep. for the next one. I want to watch several in a row, but I couldn't possibly wait until the end of the season mm-hmm. to do that. So. Yep. And then we're like, oh, no, we need a break. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, my goodness, okay. now. <laughs> Anything Thank else you, you want to add? Nope. Good night, everybody. Have a good one.